separation. Uh, the first and second stage will separate from one another. The third event is second engine start or SES-1. Uh, this is where the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. The fourth event is boost back burn for the first stage. And the last of these five events is fairing deploy where we will jettison the nose cone at the top of our second stage. Uh, a reminder again we won't be sh broadcasting the fairing deploy at the request of our customer but we should get audio confirmation of it. We're about 15 seconds away from the first of those five events, main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Main engine cutoff. Separation confirmed. And we just got the auto confirmation that fairing separation has been confirmed. Uh, on the right hand side of the screen is a view uh, of the first stage performing its boost back burn. Uh, that is a great shot. In a couple of seconds, we're expecting that boost back burn to be ending on the first stage. Stage one boost back shut down. And there it is. T plus, three minutes and 20 seconds into flight. Everything's looking great so far. Uh, with the boost back burn done, done, our first stage will be attempting its land landing in just a few minutes. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Land landings have a number of advantages over water landings. First, they are not subject to ocean storms that might affect the drone ship. Secondly, landing on land significantly streamlines post-launch processing of the recovered first stage. Stage one landing burn startup. There's that single engine relight. Here comes Falcon 9 for its fifth landing attempt Stage two, at landing zone one. Stage one landing light deploy. Stage two start of terminal guidance. Falcon 9 does it again, that's five times for this booster, and the 70th successful recovery of a Falcon 9 to date. Uh, congratulations to uh, all those that have been working on uh, today's mission.